Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today we will be looking into the Holy Scriptures in Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25, and we will read it and examine it. So without further ado, let us read Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25. <clears throat> the birth of Jesus Christ came about this way. After his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, it was discovered before they came together that she was pregnant from the Holy Spirit. So her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and not wanting to, wanting to dis disgrace her publicly, decided to divorce her secretly. But after he had considered these things, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because what has been conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. See, the virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, which is translated, God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the Lord's angel had commanded him, and he married her, but did not have sexual relations with her until she gave birth to a son, and he named him Jesus. May God, his add, may God add his blessing to the reading. Praise be to the Lord. Now the passage of Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25 essentially sets the stage for the story of our Lord, of, of the birth of our Lord, King and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mary is found to be pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit, which causes Joseph to consider divorcing her to avoid, to avoid any sort of public disgrace or public shame from society. <clears throat> An angel of the Lord, however, appeared to Joseph in a dream, Telling, her to t telling him to take Mary as his wife, because ultimately the child inside Mary was the long-awaited Messiah foretold in the Tanakh, which is the, old, the Hebrew word for the Old Testament. In fact, the angel quotes the prophet Isaiah by quoting the passage of Isaiah chapter 7, verses 14. So let us read Isaiah 7, verses 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. See, the virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. The angel quoting the prophet Isaiah was very significant because it ultimately highlights the importance and great significance of Christ's birth, which is that the birth of Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of all of the Old Testament prophecies that were written regarding the Messiah. Jesus is our Messiah. In fact, the prophet Micah wrote in Micah chapter 5, verses 2, that the future ruler of Israel, which is the Messiah, would come out of Bethlehem. And this prophecy was fulfilled when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Ultimately, the angel quoting the prophet Isaiah proved to Joseph that the child inside Mary was the long-awaited Messiah. And Jesus is the Messiah. He is our Messiah. In John chap chapter 1 verses 14, it states that Christ is the word of God made in flesh and who, who dwelled among us, revealing all of his glory. Let us in fact read ch John chapter 1 verses 14. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. He, we observed his glory, the glory as the one and, the one and only Son from the Father full of grace and truth. This is essentially what the word Emmanuel means. Emmanuel is the Hebrew word that means God with us. And John chapter 1 verses 14 states that Christ is the word of God made in flesh to who dwelt among us, who dwelt among humans, because ultimately Jesus is God with us. He is Emmanuel. So as we celebrate Christmas, let us give thanks to God for the greatest gift of all, which is the birth of our Lord, King, and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now, my friends, let the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the boundless love of the Father, and the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. 
Amen. God bless you all and have a Merry Christmas.